Today I'll be showing you how to match keywords in different tables within Excel using Power Query and then categorize data based on those matches. So to further explain this, let me show you my example. I have a grocery store that I'm running here. And as you can see in this table, I have item codes and their relevant sales data. And as you can see, these codes contain various numbers and words. And another table here is the item categories, which in the columns has different item categories. And within the rows, it has keywords for those categories. So for example, in my item codes table, if I have this item, which is called milk frost flow 22, which is the item code, I can search up the keyword milk in the item categories table. And I can see it right here. And the corresponding category is dairy and refrigerated products. Now, for example, if I were to look at ocean breeze salmon 38, which is the product code, I can search up the keywords ocean breeze salmon in here. And as you can see, salmon is right here and its category is meat, poultry and seafood. I want to use Power Query to find matches of these keywords within this table here and return the corresponding categories into a separate column within this table over here. So for example, for milk, I would want a separate column to say milk is a dairy refrigerated product right over here and the same for all of the other remaining products as well. So we'll be using Power Query to achieve this. And let me show you step by step how this can be done within just a matter of minutes. Now, as you can see, I've already made the tables. Now I want to make sure that I name these tables. So I'm going to go into table design. This is currently called table one. I'm going to change it and I'm going to call uh, codes. And then for the item categories, I'm going to go into the table name and I'm going to change it to categories. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and load both tables into Power Query. So click anywhere into the table. We've done this many times in our channel. Uh, just go to data, click on this button from table range. And as you can see, the table loads in into Power Query. And once it's loaded, close and load two, and only create connection and press OK. I'm going to do the exact same process for the other table as well. OK, so now both tables are loaded into Power Query, as you can see, as only a connection. So there is no separate spreadsheet opening up. Um, now I'm going to actually go ahead into Get Data, Launch Power Query Editor. And here in Power Query, I have two queries of both tables. This is the codes table and this is the categories table. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want the category table such that each column name or each category name is in a row, like a vertical row, and their corresponding keyword is right beside them. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and select all of my data. So click on the very first uh, cell and then go to the very last one. Click on shift in your keyboard and select the last one. Now, once the entire table is selected, I'm just going to go into transform and unpivot columns. And there we go. So now we can see we have attribute and value. So attribute, we can actually change it to say category. And value is the keyword that we're looking for in our codes table. So I'm going to re rename it to a keyword just to make things simpler. Um, now we've done that. So as you can see, milk is in dairy and refrigerated products. And if a product says banana, then it's fruits and vegetables, right? So now if we look at our data, we can go ahead and process it further. So now what I'll do is in the codes uh, query here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to home merge queries and I can either merge queries and change this table itself when I merge, or I can create a new query separate from these two and then merge. Now, I would recommend you create a new query just so that if you're going to be doing this process for different tables, uh, it's simple and it's more automated. So I'm going to click on merge queries as new. And once this opens up, as you can see, the codes table is the first table and the second table will be the categories table. 
And as you can see, we have item codes here and the keywords and categories. So milk is a item code keyword and it matches with milk over here. And that category is dairy refrigerated products. So I want dairy refrigerated products to come over here to this table as a new column, right? And same with, for example, bread. This keyword bread is matching down here with bread. So this is bakery and grains. I would want bakery and grains to be here as a new column, right? So we're going to select left outer all from first and matching from second. So everything from the first table, only the matching values from the second table. And we're going to go ahead and use the fuzzy matching. I have a whole video on the fuzzy tool if you're not familiar with it. Um, but you're just going to simply select fuzzy match and we're going to go into matching options here. Now, between zero and one, you can choose a value. Um, now, for example, if it's zero, then all values will match. If it's one, then only exact values will match. Let's go ahead and let's put in 0.5 and let's see what that tells us. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is you also want to make sure that you select a column within here. So we're trying to match item code in the codes table with the keyword in the categories table. OK, so when I selected the similarity threshold of 0.5, I'm getting 184 out of 300 tables, uh, 300 rows rather matching. So I want more matches. So I'm going to select uh, 0.4 and now we're getting still 194. Let's try 0.3 Again, a little bit more 199. OK, so I'm happy with that because I know that there will be some rows that don't match because some of the item codes, those items aren't in the category table. So I'm happy with this number with 0.3 similarity threshold. The lower you take it, the more lenient the fuzzy tool will become. So try to keep it a little bit high. I think for me, 0.3 is OK. Um, after that, again, there are many other options you can select. But in our case, uh, if you want to see those options, you can check out my video on the fuzzy tool. Uh, for now, I'm just going to select OK. And that's going to open a sec separate query called merge one. And as you can see, this is a consolidation of both tables. Now, item code is right over here. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see a categories column, OK, which is the table categories table. We're going to click on this button over here to expand that table. And I want both the columns of that table uh, to come in here. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And there we are. So remember, we were talking about milk over here. Milk is the item code frosted flow 22. If we go all the way to the right, Power Query was able to match the milk word and return the corresponding category dairy and refrigerated products. And the same goes for the other ones as well. And for example, golden nest eggs. Well, if you go all the way down to the right, it was able to match the word eggs and return the corresponding category dairy refrigerated products. And let's have a look at this one as well. Uh, bakery and grains. It was able to match bread and the item code was wheat bread rice 57. So bread was in there as well. So now that we've made these matches, let's see if there are any matches that didn't come in. So we have a few that are just null. They didn't match. And it makes sense because some of my values in the item codes uh, did not have any matches. So I'm fine with that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I don't want any null values to show as null. So I'm going to go to this column here, the categories column, and I'll select replace values. Now, if uh, if a cell says null, then I want to replace it with uh, no category. And I'll press OK. So OK, so we've made those changes. Now, instead of null, it says no category. So we know that there is no designated category for that product. And what I want to do further is I want to get rid of the keywords column because I simply use that column to help me generate this table. So I no longer need this. So I can simply go ahead and remove. And now I want to grab this categories column and bring it to the front right before or right after the item code. So we can see the item code and the corresponding category. And I'm going to also rename the 
the header and I'm going to call it department and I'm going to press enter and there we go everything else looks good to me I'm just going to go to the sales column and go to change type and change it to a currency there we go and everything else looks good so I'm going to go ahead close and load two and I wanted to open this into a separate uh, worksheet within my book so I'm going to go into new worksheet open it as a table and I'm going to press OK and here is our final table that's coming in and what we can do further just to make things a little bit cleaner is I'll expand these rows I'll change the design get rid of the filter button and there we go so there's our merge table and it shows the items as well as the uh, corresponding departments of those items now one thing you'll notice is that there are some uh, duplicate values like for example you know for cream dairy horizon this product it's showing both as a dairy refrigerated product and the numbers are same as well so we just have a few duplicates so in order to address those I'm going to go back to data get data and launch power query editor and after that I'm going to go on to the item code uh, cell here this uh, this column and remove rows and remove duplicates and there we go duplicates are removed so I can go ahead and just refresh quickly and I'll close Power Query and I want to keep my changes and once the Excel file is open I'm going to go ahead and just go to data refresh so it's all refreshed and there we have it okay so now it's showing everything uh, properly without any mistakes I'm going to go ahead into the sales column and I'm just going to give it a currency format and there we are so that's how you can match different tables in Excel uh, using keywords and categorize data based on that using Power Query I hope you found this video valuable if you did do subscribe and like and I'll see you shortly on the next video